Hi my loves, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica Alexandria of Bahati Life. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today we're gonna to be talking about Jupiter retrograde from April 10th to August 11th of 2019 in the sign of Sagittarius. Now, I have a few videos up about Jupiter retrograde on my channel, but it's 2019 now, Jupiter's moving to the sign of Sagittarius, and the energy of this retrograde phase kind of changes the dynamic, and we need to talk about it. If you hear any noise in the background, for those of you guys that don't know, I currently live in the French Quarter in New Orleans, so it can get pretty loud, and it is the weekend here. It's a Sunday. If you're brand new to the channel, or if you're an old friend to the channel, I really kind of want to like introduce or reintroduce to you that when a planet goes retrograde, or when a planet is a is direct it doesn't necessarily mean that it's all positive or all negative because there are two sides to every coin and that's how energy works there's always positive and there's always the negative there's always the plus and there's always the minus that's just the ways of the universe so it the more that you are informed the more that you are aware the more that you will work these planets for your highest and greatest good versus you become a, a victim to it if you're not careful, the information that is getting pumped to you out through the internet will make you feel like you're losing your power, you'll lose your sense of direction, you'll feel like the planets are working against you instead of instead of for you. And that's the purpose of, of this video is to show you how to work your magic during Jupiter retrograde and what Jupiter retrograde is going to bring to you. So that being said, the first thing that I wanna talk about is what Jupiter rules and the energy that it is that it brings, especially that it's, when it's moving through the sign of Sagittarius. So Jupiter is the planet of growth, expansion, abundance, cosmic gifts, and also this higher level of knowledge that comes to us from the divine. It's our need to explore our environment. It's our need to see different cultures and to connect with different people. It's our this feeling of like being lifted and being jovial and being optimistic and positive about what can happen because Jupiter understands that anything can happen. It sees the bigger picture, it sees the grander picture, and it's working to bring that into your life. Now, when Jupiter is retrograde, it's just like you and me and just like the rest of the energy of and the cycles of anything that is living and breathing and has energy in our universe, the, it doesn't do so much. It's now in a position of receiving. It's now bringing in its energy and bringing it inward. This to me, when I started studying astrology, this was the largest lightning bolt of awakening for me in my life because it showed me that as human beings, and as, as cosmically connected we are, we have to remember that even we cannot continue to do, 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 that there has to be a moment where we are receiving, where we are resting, and we are restoring ourselves. Even the planets are doing it. If the planets are doing it, we have to do it. If we see it in nature, and we are nature, then we have to mirror what nature is doing because that is our nature. That in itself, I want you guys to see the blessing in that and not to look at it as a curse. This is a moment for you during the retrograde phases, whether it be Mercury or Pluto or Saturn or Jupiter or Uranus retrograde, this is a moment for you to take your energy and bring it within because that's what Jupiter is doing. Instead of Jupiter expanding and exploding and turn, taking one thing from one level and taking it to the next level and, you know, opening the floodgates in your life, he is, he, because he's masculine, he is taking his energy, he's closing the door, and he's saying, you know what, I need rest, I need to restore my energy, I need to collect my blessings so that I can, when the time is right, which will be August 11th of 2019, that's when I will open the gate and the floodgates will come pouring out, and so will my gifts, so will my blessings, so will abundance and expansion. Now, when a planet is direct, it doesn't mean that it's all gonna be positive growth because Jupiter just represents energy. And that energy can be displayed and um, come uh, unfold in your life in, in ways that can be constructive or destructive. It all depends on what your life is looking like, what is that you're manifesting, and what your, what your life looks like at the present moment. Jupiter being direct when it was moving forward in the, from our perspective, we look at this and we say, okay, you know, if Jupiter's moving direct, then all of these blessings are gonna come forward, but if you're not ready to receive those blessings, or if you're not ready to expand, if you're not ready to grow, then all of you receiving all of what Jupiter's pouring into your life is gonna be overwhelming, it's gonna feel like you're drowning. So just because Jupiter, Jupiter is direct doesn't necessarily mean that that is going to feel positive and constructive and wonderful for you. Jupiter direct could actually be tough for some people to handle. So you have to look 
um, at what is going on in your life. You have to look at your chart and you also have to learn how to be flexible and fluid with what is going on in the cosmos so that you can be cosmically aligned so that you can flow with it and start it instead of fighting it. So that being said, when Jupiter is retrograde, which again, we're going to be seeing April 11th until um, August 10th and 11th depending the energy of this planet starts to go in internal this is when you are going to start finding yourself questioning your beliefs you're going to start questioning your philosophies you're going to start questioning your direction your purpose you're going to question okay where is it that i want to travel or if you do travel you may find that you are traveling for spiritual awakening you may find that you are traveling to better understand yourself it almost seems like this travel is an internal seek of knowledge that you can find within and this retreat of sorts maybe it be a yoga retreat or a spiritual re retreat or an ashram or something it's, it serves a purpose to help you to better understand yourself and also to help to shift your perspective. This is in no way, shape, or form a negative thing. This is so positive. This is so good for you to question what is real, what is, you know, what do you believe in, what are your personal philosophies. That's something that Jupiter can bring when this planet is retrograde. If you don't know how to work this energy, this is a great time for you to think about <clears throat> your spirituality, your personal beliefs, or if you've been feeling disconnected from the divine, if you've been feeling disconnected from your ancestors and your guides and angels, then this is a great time for you to work to reconnect back within them and to work to reconnect back with your intuition. This is this, again, higher state of, you know what, this truth, this awareness that I have, this does not come from my perspective and my lessons that I've learned. This comes to me from the divine. I can't even explain it. So for some of you guys, you are connecting back with that again within yourselves in order to find the truth of, okay, this is why I'm here. This is my purpose. For, th for some of you, you may be questioning what you've learned and your knowledge and your growth. You may find yourself you know, being pulled to certain areas and different cultures so that you can expand your perspective, so that you can learn so much. It's not always book knowledge. Sometimes, for a lot of ways, the best way for you to learn is through your experiences. So you can find yourself learning in different ways um, or you may find yourself retreating and closing yourself out from the world um, in order to, or closing yourself away from your neighborhood or separating yourself from your neighborhood from your status quo in order for you to find and to seek the answers of different cultures, different belief systems and this, this knowledge that it is that you're looking for, that you're grasping for. Some of you guys may be restructuring your budgets. What is valuable to you, what is important to you may change and shift because Jupiter is showing you that you may have looked at this greater picture, but now this greater picture doesn't serve you. Look at all that I have brought to you. This is Jupiter saying this to you. Look at all that I have brought to you. Are you happy? Are you served? Are you satisfied? Go within and find those answers within yourself so that when we go direct and when the tides turn and when I open the floodgates and pour these blessings into your life that you have called in exactly what it is that you want from a deeper level not from a superficial level from, but from your inner knowing I want you to hear the call within your heart within your soul within your spirit so that when you set intention when you work in mat work your magic and you bring it to me as your guru as your guide as your benefactor that I know what it is that you want and I know that you know that you, that you know what you want so that I can give it to you. Jupiter is very um, like big bellied. Jupiter is like the Buddha, the laughing god. Jupiter brings you know uh, good spirits and optimism and positivity. If you have been feeling you know out of touch with reality, if you've been losing your spark, if you've been losing your optimism and your your belief, it's time for you to stop trying so hard to see the silver lining. It's time for you to stop seeing the good in things and allow yourself to just be restored. Allow yourself to just be filled. And this is from April, May, June, July, August. Think of that as a vacation. That's a nice extended vacation that the universe is giving you to not do, 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 to achieve, to achieve, to accomplish, but to restore. If, if, you, are, if you could be in a space right now where you could take a April, May, June, July, August, a five month vacation. That sounds like pure bliss. 
Does that not sound like pure bliss? That's what Jupiter retrograde is. It's a moment for you to pause. It's a moment for you to retreat. It's a moment for you to restore yourself and to give to yourself so that when Jupiter goes direct again, so that in that moment you will know because you've heard the call, you feel the call and you're responding to it, then you can call out to the universe and say, okay, as Jupiter is now going direct, Jupiter, this is what I want you to bring into my life. This is what I've learned about myself. This is what I've learned about my environment. This is what I've learned about my world. And now that I know all those things, I can now call this out and I can welcome it in without being swallowed up in it, without being lost, without being directionless, because I know who I am now. I needed this time. And you guys, I want you guys to remember that everything works in cycles. We see it in the tarot. I teach this in my Sacred Circle Tarot School all the time. Everything works in cycles. The universe works in a cycles. The cosmos work in cycles. Astrology works in cycles. Nature is in cycles. You are in a cycle. So nothing is permanent. Everything is always changing. So you have to remember that this moment is just five months long. It's a five month retreat. It's a five month vacation. It's a five month um, cosmic gift of chocolate that is left on your pillow that says look you've been doing a lot lately and instead of you expanding 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 let's go within let's scale back let's restructure let's reconnect let's hear that call again because we are we are designed to always evolve we are designed to always learn and to grow and we can't do that if we are constantly projecting ourselves forward and constantly propelling ourselves forward and never taking time to honor and to respect the cycles within ourselves, within our nature, within the cosmos, within the, the divine. So that's what it is that I see for Jupiter retrograde for us in Sagittarius. Again, Sagittarius connects, all of these things flow really well together because Sagittarius is actually ruled by Jupiter. And Sagittarius, again, is connected to our higher sense of education, our need to travel, our need to question our environment, to see the bigger picture, to connect with new friends and new people and of different cultures and different backgrounds and to learn and to grow from them, to ask questions, to not be afraid to ask questions because again, if anything, you know, Jupiter is not gonna smack you in the face. That's more Saturn and Pluto. <laughs> and we'll talk about that in my next video. That's more Saturn and Pluto. Jupiter will probably laugh at your silliness sometimes and your naivety and you know how innocent you are, but it will pick you up and put you on its lap and, and explain to you what it is that you need to learn if you are open to it, if you call it in. And that's what Jupiter and Sagittarius is working to bring for you. So I'm really curious to hear how you guys are feeling and how you are working with this energy, what you're seeing in your life, what cycles it is that you're seeing in your life. Do you find yourself fighting this energy? Do you find yourself flowing with this energy? And if you do find yourself fighting this energy, why are you so afraid of your blessing? Why are you so afraid of abundance? Why are you so afraid of your own growth? Why are you so afraid of learning a different perspective? You have to ask yourself why you are challenging your own growth and why you're challenging your own blessing. Okay, so um, make sure that you are subscribed to this YouTube channel because not only are there plenty more videos where this came from, but I'm gonna be doing a card pull for you guys and I'm gonna be sharing it with you guys on my YouTube channel very soon, sooner rather than later. So make sure that your notifications are turned on. This card pull is going to be about um, the blessings that Jupiter Retrograde is working to bring into your life and how to best work your magic with this. Okay, so again, make sure that you're subscribed, turn on your notifications, hit that thumb up, thumbs up button if you love this video, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.